Hi everyone, it's Pauline from Stamp with Pauline, Stamp and Stampede, and today um, we're going to do another um, fold for Friday. So the last one we did was a Z fold, and today I'm going to show you how to do a double Z fold. So this is what it looks like when it stands up. So you'll see that you've now created the two Zs, and then I can now go ahead and decorate the front of this card and I have somewhere to write in there as well. So there's lots of different ways that you can do a Z fold. But the first thing you need to do is start off with a piece of A5, um, A4 cardstock and you're going to cut it in half at 10 and a half centimetres. Now what you do is, I don't measure anything, um, so I just like to fold and score then fold and score back on itself so you have now created the first part of our Z fold the next part you'll need is a piece of the same coordinating card stock and this is eight centimeters wide by ten and a half long now to do this part, what I did was actually fold over, um, you can score it whichever way you wish, um, but I wanted a nice long panel at the front of here. So that's probably at about, um, so you don't want to, if you fold this over in half and then back on itself, it won't actually work as such. So what you need to do is to create that part there. And so that's 10 and a half centimetres. So just grab your ruler and just, um, or you can use your trimmer. So 10 and a half, about there. And 10 and a half there. And then what you're going to do is actually score that. I just don't have a lot of room for the trimmer on the desk, so that's why I'm doing this. So then just fold that over to manipulate to that score line. So you've got your first fold. Now to create the next fold here, this fold is actually seven and a half centimetres. So grab your ruler or your trimmer and now mark at seven and a half here and seven and a half up the top. Let me just can't see the reflection right there. So I'm just going to go like that. Yep. So seven and a half there. All right. Then score that. That can't be right because I'm on a diagonal there. So let me just do that again. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I was right. Okay. All right. So give that a score like that. So you've got your piece that's going on across the front. Now what you want to do is actually score this piece across here. So just line it up. Give it a score. That's now created the other piece. Now what I did was I actually then decided to trim it because what I actually wanted to do was to gauge how wide I wanted my panel on my writing section to be. So this one I've actually brought it in quite neat, like quite small, but you can actually alter this and make it um, however long you wish it to be. So it will need a little bit of a trim, but it's the way um, I found it easier to do the double Z fold. All right. So you will just need to slightly trim off one of the ends. All right. So the other thing you will need for this card is a piece of designer series paper and this is 14 centimeters by nine and a half centimeters and it gets glued down to here so i'm just going to use my tombow and i'm using soft succulent here and i'm using um, hand penned designer series paper so pop that down to here like that then I have another piece of designer series paper and it is six and a half centimetres by not quite 10 centimetres, about nine and a half. What I then do is actually that will line up there so that I try to actually match up both of my, and I've completely made that crooked, 
just lift that up a little bit again so that we can make that straight there we go all right and now I can glue down this top piece and have it here so now I have that decorated piece so now that you've got this piece then you can actually now make it whichever way you want your card to be so if you want to actually center this and then have it over so that might be um, how you choose so I might do it that way this time so but I will need to actually cut just the excess off here to allow a bit of a border so what I do just to gauge that is I want to bring that into about three let's go three centimeters on this end take off three centimeters and then what I can do is then center that Yep, so it just needs, yep, I will go another half a centimetre off that just to give me a little bit of wiggle room. Just want that little bit extra off that. All right, so I have a nice big piece there to write on and then I have this piece going here over the top. All right, so first thing I like to do make sure we're all good all right so I'm just going to turn it this way and I am going to glue just about that much and then so it's about probably about three centimeters in I've actually glued that piece so just glue that down and now you've got ready to glue this part down. So don't stick glue onto here, but just onto the back side. Let me just see if I can get that in the camera. Still trying to work out lives. This is all new to me and I really don't like doing them. I suppose because if you do make a mistake, you can just come back and fix it up or whatever, but we're gonna go with it. <sighs> Be brave. All right. So that is our card base done. We have our double Z fold and we have everything there. So then what you can do now is um, you can either decorate the front um, with some um, more cardstock or your embellishment, um, whatever stamp you're going to do. And then for the words, just taking this piece of Whisper White cardstock and it's cut. 10 centimeters by about seven and a half centimeters and I'm going to now glue that piece down into here and that's now created somewhere to write the message for the card so now I'm just going to decorate this piece so there's lots of different ways that you can do a Z fold um, the other Z fold card that is available that you can do um, and um, other demonstrators have done that um, uh, most one that I can think of off the top of my head is Bronwyn Eastley another Stampin' Up! demonstrator what she does is takes this piece of um, cardstock but makes it quite small so probably only about three or four centimeters centimeters along this section here and then she will make um, scenery cards and stuff so I've done that in the past um, but that's another way to actually create um, another different style of um, double z so yep um, so that's about me for this live I'm not going to be doing very um, long-winded lives I just want to get in and get out and um, show you a nice fancy fold something for you to do so if you go to um, the website um, or my blog um, or my Facebook page you'll be able to see these cards finished um, and feel free to post your um, cards on here too so show me what you've done today since we're home and nothing else to do let's give it a go okay catch you later bye